That's Mark's recipe for this morning. That's how she talks, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> yeah, that was great, Mike. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> and we definitely have got no dog biscuits on the menu today. But we could do that in one episode. Well, not today. <laughs> right, so we're going to go with a lamb korma. So it's a really nice curry, very fragrant, uh, lots of spices through there, uh, but very creamy as well. We've got some cream in there, we've got some coconut as well, and cashew nuts, which is just going to make this really creamy, sort of rounded off, um, spiced lamb dish. Um, so not as much spice as yesterday's uh, chicken dish, which is great. We've got some rice, we've got some naan breads to serve with it. And the best thing about curries, is, and where all the flavour comes from, is the chilli paste, or the curry paste. And I'm going to show you exactly how to make that a little bit later with all these beautiful ingredients. And I'm going to show you how to get the secrets to get all the flavours out of those. And then we're going to whip this uh, korma up, which is really, really simple. Right, let's check in with Holly. Holly, great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we're creating an Indian classic this morning. That's it, we're making a korma, mm. lamb korma. OK, and what's the most important factor in this dish? This. So this is going to be the spice mix. Right. So this is where all the flavour comes from. And we've got an array of ingredients here, so, you know, we can just go around. Got a little bit of chilli flakes there, just for a little bit of heat. Yep. Got some tomato paste, some ginger, cashew nuts there, a little bit of the coconut, and then probably some of your main spices. You've got turmeric there, um, cardamom pods, ground. Yes, OK, yeah. Uh, cumin. And you've got some cinnamon there for a little bit of sweetness as mm. well, and some garam masala. It smells incredible already. We haven't even started. So let's get underway. <laughs> right, so we're just going to start toasting these seeds. Yeah. So just over a medium heat. We're just going to start getting a bit of colour on them, so release all the flavours. Yeah. And then we're going to start crushing those. And then basically we're going to just crush everything together. So you can you can put it all in a blender, yep. blend it and make this paste, or you can do it the old-fashioned way and just do it all in pestle and water. OK, nice. OK. <laughs> and you, do you like the old-fashioned way more than the, the modern way? Depends how much time I've got. Right, OK. <laughs> You've got me, so I can help. help. Yeah, that's what yeah. I can help out. <laughs> OK, so lightly toasting. Yep, so we're going to do that. So we might as well start crushing the uh, crushing some of the nuts. OK, cool. Oh, now that's when I wish we had the blender. So, yeah, I oh, know, it's a lot faster in the blender. But it's all good, though, you know. And this is going to this is going to help thicken it. Nice. You know, so this is almost like a, you know, give you a flavour, because they're lightly toasted as well. And it almost goes into a powder, and when you cook in the uh, mixture out, it will thicken the sauce. Right, so are we basically making a paste here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A paste and a, and a, and a flavour mix. So this is going to be the base of, your, of the whole curry, really. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Uh, and then we've got some lamb there today. Yeah. So you can just got we just got some diced lamb. So just go through it, just uh, cut any sort of sinew off or any yep. bits that you don't want in there or excess fat. And then we're just gonna fry it in the paste and then cook it so it won't take too long to, to cook. Nice. Okay, how are you going there crushing your nuts? Yeah, I'm begin <laughs> beginning to wish I used the blender. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, so you can see there, that's sort of going down a little bit now. Yep. Right, so we're getting some... I'm going to start adding all these other ingredients in there now, just whilst you're toasting. OK, cool. <laughs> Please, you reminded me just about, <laughs> about yeah. these ones that we're toasting. OK, so you're putting just about everything else in yeah, there. Yeah, so everything else goes in there. Doesn't matter which order, just throw no, it in. No, it's no, all, it's all going to go in there. Get your nuts done first, add the rest of them. Yeah, it's just you easy. You haven't put the paste in yet, so we leave no, that, no, and I you just... haven't put ginger in yet, so no, we leave that. And then we can grate the ginger in. OK, cool. How do you know when these are ready? Do they just start going a brownie colour? <laughs> yes, yes, they get, they get toasted. Oh. But you can smell it as well. So if you shake it around and then, and then smell mm -hmm. it, you know, you'll start releasing oh, okay, all the yeah, flavours. No, I think no, we're you, just about there. So you're getting that? Yeah, I'm getting that smell. Yeah, so not far off. So I'm just going to grate some ginger into there. You know, and this is this is probably you know the, the most important and the you know the most prep intensive part of the dish. You know, right. so take your time, do this properly, and this is where all your flavour is going to come from. Okay, so once you've got all your spices sorted and you've got your nuts crushed and all the mix is done, you've got um, different flavours that are getting toasted. Yep, the hard work's done. The rest of it's pretty straightforward. Isn't well, it, it is. It is. Nice. It's really you know spend Brilliant. all your time doing this, and you can do this ahead of time. Yeah, and then the rest of it is really fast. Okay, nice work. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, no, quickly before you go, just add the paste, paste in, in yeah. now. So that's pretty much everything in there. Yeah, and you we'll keep crush mixing. those, get those in. Okay, are you going to crush these as well? Yep. I think they're ready to go yeah, in. Pop them in. So we'll pop them in here and then we will come back in just a minute because everything in moderation, my friend, nice food and nice exercise, that's what Holly is up to right now. And Mark, I've been crushing this down. We added a little bit of oil before, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, you can yep. add a little bit. If it gets a little bit dry, just yep. add a couple of splashes of oil and then just keep grinding it. Don't okay. like over uh, wet it with the oil. Okay, but as cool. you can see, you know, all the flavours are mixing together. 
It's, you know, probably about another 10 minutes of pushing, you get it a little bit finer, but we do like the texture. It's quite nice, that texture, you know, the coconut and the nuts as well. Okay, cool. Now, actually, just to give us some direction on how much oil we should add, when I press down on this, I'm seeing some oil come to the surface. Yeah, Is that yeah, about right? Yeah, you don't want any more than that. Okay, cool. Perfect. Nice. Whew. Right, so that's the spice mix. So taken a while. <laughs> I did the fatal error of trying some before I forgot how spicy it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to taste good in this lamb korma, though. Oh, it's, it, yeah, it's not that spicy. You know, we've got more garlic, onions going in there. You've got the lamb. We've got some cream to finish and some mint as well. So, you know, it's not going to be that spicy. And if you don't like spice at all, just don't um, put the... Uh, you know, the chilli chilli you know, that's yeah, fine, cool. that's fine. It's all about flavour. Beautiful. Right. So I've got a, I've got a pan on here, a little bit of oil, and then I'm just going to start cooking the onions. So I've just sliced them thinly. We're just going to sweat them down. So it's all about releasing flavours. <laughs> so I'm, work, exhaust, isn't it? I'm exhausted. I'm <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> Jeez, get the blender next time, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, sweating down the onions. Our paste is ready to go, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to move it aside, just check to make sure I've got... Oh, yeah, there you go. She's oh, yeah, all the, oils all the, all the way the through. <laughs> yeah. So no, garlic, good. garlic goes in as well. Mm. Yum. Just sweat that down now. And then we're going to add the paste. So a good couple of spoons of paste into here, Mike. Mm -hmm. And then just keeping this over sort of a medium heat, and we're going to cook that paste out. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Sorry, chef sizes. <laughs> <laughs> a drizzle is always like you know, a cup. <laughs> a couple of spoons is usually like a cup. Um, <laughs> You're learning. I <laughs> know, oh, I'm learning. <laughs> well, so just, you know, let's keep this stirring around. Get the heat into this, um, into the spice mix there. And you can you can smell all the spices sort of releasing yeah. now. You know, that, that incredible cumin right and the cardamom there. You know, and a lot of people are scared to make stuff like this because they find it a little bit easier to you just rock down to the takeaway joint. But I tell you what, you make it at home, it tastes a lot better. You're controlling the, the balance of flavours and you feel good about doing it. So try it tonight. Let us know how you go on exactly. our Facebook page. Right, I'm going to pop the uh, lamb in now. Yeah. So if you notice, I'm not, I'm not sealing the lamb off. I noticed that. Yep. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> No, so it's, so it's just different. So we get a nice and soft uh, soft lamb and we get all those flavours into the lamb. But I'm going to start colouring the... Well, sort of heating the lamb with the spices now. Right. So I'm going to sort of cook that for about five minutes. Nice, and I guess that helps mix. infuse yeah, the flavour, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. OK. So you'll get it in there. And you'll just end up with this beautiful sort of soft lamb full of flavour. Mm. So about five minutes in there. Then I'm going to put the cream in, bring it up to the boil, and just turn it down to a simmer, and then cook it, you know, about 10, 15 minutes, 20 okay. minutes. You know, just nice and slow. Good. And then it's ready to go. Check your consistency. Yeah. Once you're happy with the consistency, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon if you want, if you want to sharpen it up, finish it with some fresh mint, and then we've got some naan breads to serve, which I've just got a hot pan, and I'm just going to pop them in there. It's going to heat them, give them a bit of colour, puff them up. It's going to be beautiful. OK, quick question, just uh, just thinking about it. If you add the cream in now, yep. and then you think, I want to add some more paste mix, can you do that? Or once you've added the cream, no more paste mix? Does it matter? Well, I, I mean, it's better to put the paste mix in now because we're cooking it and releasing those flavours. Okay, I mean, we, cool. we've already done that, so if you do want to add a bit more to get more flavour, you know, you can add a bit more. It's right, not change it but not much. ideal. OK, not cool. Not ideal, yeah. Perfect. Get more in at the beginning. Nice work. Get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. This is going to be heavenly. I can't wait to taste it, Mark. <laughs> How's the cobble looking? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's finished. The sauce has come down. It's nice and creamy. We're going to finish it with some fresh mint. And have you ever wondered how they get that beautiful shaped mound of rice in those uh, Indian restaurants? Yes, yes. Mark, we yes, have. Mark, yes, have. well, I'm going to show you. Okay. Right. So I've got a nice uh, little bowl here. Just rubbed it with a bit of oil. Pack it with the rice. Right. All right, and here's the kicker. Compact the rice. Right. right so I'm doing this a little bit fast. But we compact it down and then oh. pop it on the plate. And oh, this is, is the moment of truth now. Is it going to work? Oh. Oh. Look at Do that. the mint through. We've got some naan breads on there. And look at <gasps> that. Bring it over. That looks Bring it over. Good. Oh, you've got four hungry people here. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, I need to, I'll, I'll put some extra on. Yep. <laughs> yeah, nice. Right, there you go. Oh, yeah. Make that good. <laughs> nice Ooh, work. Oh, that looks so cool. That's how my husband does it at home when I get cut curries. He does that mm. same thing as well. Uh, so, what's on the menu for tomorrow? <laughs> well, tomorrow we're going vegetarian. So, I've got some ricotta uh, dip with crushed tomatoes and prosciutto. Oh, yum. Also,